we saw that the FDA recently approved a sketamine nasal spray for major depressive disorder and acute suicidal ideation. Do you consider this also a major milestone for treatment? I, just generally, what are your thoughts about this recent FDA approval? Well, it's very important because it's the FDA approving ketamine's use for de um, depression, and that's definitely a, a huge thing because up to now, people can you have been able to use it as a, in an off-label um, fashion. So, um, so you're you know it's perfectly legal to prescribe off medications off-label um, because not every pharmaceutical company with every drug gets every you know wants to spend the money to get every approval um, for every indication that that drug can be used for. Um, often the drug's gone off patent, so there's very little financial incentive for anybody to do this. There may be no financial incentive, incentive for anybody to do it. So, but, to do, but this was done by um, Jensen Pharmaceuticals, which was a good thing. But um, in order to make it financially viable for themselves, they had to come up with a new formulation, new way of delivering it, not a 40-minute 40, 40 intravenous slow infusion, which is the standard alternative method. So they came up with a nasal um, spray, which is clever. It doesn't involve an IV, but actually for the patient, it doesn't make that much difference, really, um, for the following reasons. There's a kind of balance of advantage and disadvantage. They still have to do it in a clinic under medical supervision. So that part is exactly the same. The second thing is these nasal sprays do not deliver the drug in as slow and reliable fashion as the intravenous method. So that means that um, um, the f people have to learn how to use the spray. Um, it's not something you spray into your lungs like an asthma med medication. And second, um, repeated uses of the spray, the, the nasal mucosa adjusts and you don't always get uniform absorption which means that the dose being delivered isn't always as uniform. And the third thing is that the spray delivers the dose in a much shorter time frame. So in order to deliver the same amount of drug in a shorter time frame, you have to deliver a higher concentration, a bigger bolus, right? And that will produce more side effects because the side effects that depend on the peak level that's being delivered Right? And if you, the peak is higher, because you have to get the same amount of drug in in a shorter time, you're gonna get more side effects. So um, while it's convenient you know, and great for people who don't like an IV stuck in their arm, it makes them nervous or something, um, it, it isn't without other considerations. But it's a breakthrough, for sure. New drug now gets FDA approval for this indication.